Hello, everybody! That's right, Ollie. Today, we see Ollie go to one of the loveliest places on Earth. But to get there, he had to be trapped on a boat. Set to drift at sea in the middle of a huge storm. It looks like the rope's gonna break. Uh-oh! Ah! Oh! 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 be attacked by an octopus. Which brings us to our next story, called Welcome to the Island. <laughs> Jehu pursues the octopus, who has Apollo in one of his tentacles. Beautiful island. Right ahead. Yippee! Yippee! Hey, 
see, Apollo. Didn't I tell you you could do anything? Sure did. Hey, everybody, look. It's a welcoming committee. friends that God has sent us from the sea. Come sit down, we have a giant feast. Where are we? You are on the island of brotherly love, Agape Island. Here, everyone loves one another and treat even the animals kindly. Well, that's great, but how do we get back to Bethany? Well, every few months, trading ships come for our fine sponges and hand-strung pearl necklaces. So next time they come, we'll make sure you get back home safely. But now, it is time for the party. Yama, love one another. Uh-huh, yo, uh-huh. I like it here. Life on the island was wonderful, but Ali and Jehu looked forward to going home. Then, one day... Everybody, look! I think that's the ship! We'll be going home! Oh, do you really want to go? This place is sort of what I expected heaven to be like. I could stay here forever. Yeah, me too. We have to think of Jehu. He needs his mom and dad. We can't expect him to break their hearts forever. Think of how they must feel. I'm sure by now they probably think he's dead. Besides, it will be different now. We know how to get along and love each other, right? Yeah, you know, as long as we do love each other, I suppose it doesn't matter where we live. It's like we carry a little bit of heaven in our hearts. And then it was time to leave. Bye. Thanks for everything. Goodbye. Bye. Thanks for the hospitality. Yeah, we'll come back and visit you sometime. Maybe I'll be captain of my own ship someday. Yeah, and I'll be the first mate! Hey look, it's our dolphin friends. They've come to see us off. Hi Apollo, thanks for bringing us to the island. Yeah, we had the greatest time. Hey Apollo, goodbye. Thanks for all your help. Ali, Jehu, and Rupert all got home safely and had many adventures over the next few years. 
Elizabeth and Abner had been happily married, and their marriage produced two very happy children, Rhea and Jonathan. Dinner. We have some fine carrots. Thanks a lot. Need help looking for Jonathan? Abner's out by the stream looking for him. He went down with his sister and some of his friends earlier. Elizabeth, I talked with all our neighbors. And none of their sons have come home. Look, this is Jonathan's tunic. And there were hoof prints <gasps> in the mud around the creek. It doesn't look good. And no one's seen Rhea. Our precious children? Someone has kidnapped our precious children? How could God let this happen to us? They haven't gotten very far. I'll go round up the neighbors and we'll form a search party. At most, they've only got a three or four hour head start. Time's wasting. Let's go. After hours of searching, Ollie and Jehu run out of water and realize the kidnappers have too much of a head start. Ollie, I don't think I can go much further without water. Cheer up. We don't have that far to go. Besides, camels can go for days over the sand without even having to take a drink. Ollie, I'm not a camel. I'm a boy, and boys get thirsty. And you're not a camel either. You're a donkey, and you're supposed to get thirsty. But what's the point in thinking about water when there isn't any? Don't you remember when the Israelites escaped from Egypt? They were thirsty too. God told Moses to strike a rock. When he did, all kinds of water came out. How about that rock over there? Looks good to me. Go ahead. Hit it! Use your staff! <gasps> Rupert, where'd you come from? Bad news travels fast! I came to help! Jehu was just about to strike that rock for water! Ah, why bother? There's a brook right over here! Come on! I'll take you there! Sounds good to me. Jehu and Ollie arrive hours later at the home of Abner and Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth! That one! Over there! Grab him! There's a large group of children playing over by the temple playground. Should make about 80 if we manage to get them. This has been quite a successful trip, hasn't it? The pharaoh will be pleased with us. More servants for the palace, and workers for the fields. And we can train them how we want. These Hebrews make fine slaves. So intelligent, aren't they, and so well-bred. I never imagined our trip could be so successful. Oh, 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 to Egypt we will go. 
With paper boats and a fund of flowing water buffalo Ho, 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 to Egypt we will go Ho, 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 to Egypt we will go With chest of stone and purple robes and mommies up your door Ho, ho, ho assassin in Damascus? We can pray and God will help us. Do you believe? I believe. Hey, no talking back there. Any of you children who talk will be lashed. You children must learn. You're no longer Hebrews. You're Egyptian slaves. No more fun. No more games. Have I made myself perfectly clear? Okay. Here, Portius. This will be an excellent place to water the animals and the children at 30 pieces of silver apiece. It'd be a shame to lose any of them. <laughs> if any of you children so much as mutters a word, you'll be laughed. <laughs> we'll be tying you together. If any of you messes with your ropes, you will go without water. Now lay down. Jonathan, Jonathan, I'm scared. Can we pray? Shh, Rhea, you sure picked a funny time to want to pray. I can't sleep. I miss Mommy and Daddy. I do too. Here, take my hands, shut your eyes. Oh, God, please help us get out of here and back to Mom and Dad. We promise we won't wander away from home again. Yeah, God! Send Uncle Jehu and Donkey Ollie to help us. They're not afraid of anything. I thought I said no talking. What's your names? We were just praying. You can't expect us not to pray to God. Oh, you'll pray all right. You'll pray tomorrow that you had some water, especially through the Sinai Desert. No water for either of you. Now go back to sleep, or you'll both get a flogging as well. <gasps> Am I making myself perfectly clear? It was my fault. I woke my brother up to pray. It's not fair to punish him. Who said anything about being fair? This has nothing to do with fairness. I make the rules here. I lay down the laws. Tomorrow you'll be thirsty for sure. Save your excuses. This is no court. You'll learn who makes the rules, or you can try to drink dirt! <laughs> Hey, what about them? Don't they get any water? They were praying last night. If their god hears them, let him give them water. <laughs> if they're not getting any water, then I'm not taking any either. Nor I. Nor I. Very well. You can have it as you wish. We'll see how long you last before you're begging me for water.
freak in the ring. What does it mean of this disturbance? It's just a desert storm. All of you go back to your places in line. God can't hear you. I'm your master. Unless you want to taste of this whip on your backs. You better get back to your places in line. And you, young Jonathan, I'll be with you later. We were just singing. Don't you want us happy? No. There's no need for you slaves to be happy. Slaves? You're selling us into slavery? <laughs> no, no. There's no need to sell you. You have already been sold. <laughs> We're delivering you to the palace of Ramses the 10th. Years ago, your forefather, Moses, may have delivered you from being our servants. There's no Moses now. Little Jonathan and Rhea cannot escape from the evil Egyptian slavers. Can Ali save them? I hope so. Thank you, Mr. Narrator. And now it's time once again for Farmer John's Corner. What an interesting story. Starts in the water and ends in the desert. You know, whether it's hot or cold, a desert is a place that gets very, very little water. Here, let's see how a desert works. Ah, this is my good friend, Miss Bridget. Hey, Farmer John. Anyway, Miss Bridget's a second grade teacher during the school year, but during the rest of the time in the summer, she likes to be an archeologist. And in fact, she's gonna be doing a whole bunch of digging sometime soon. My septic tank needs work. Not that kind of digging, Farmer John. Oh. All right then. Uh, what what did you have planned for us today? Well, I was gonna tell you about deserts. I'd like to hear that. Well, as you know, there's not a lot of rain in the desert, less than two inches per year. But there is wind. The wind rubs away at the dirt and rock and turns it into the sand. Oh. And sand feels really nice on your skin because it's nice and smooth. But it also drains very quickly which is why people put it in their gardens to help the water drain out. And this is just the problem that the plants in the desert have to deal with. The water drains through way too fast. Too fast? What do you mean? Let me show you. Whoa, look at that, it's pouring right through. Yeah. So the sand doesn't keep the water in at all. No, so the plants have to develop this special network of roots that will hold the water in. Special? How? Well, take a look at this barrel cactus. Alright. Its skin is very tough and it helps hold the water in. And also these big Ow! spines help protect it from animals because the animals know there's water inside and they'll come and chew them up and get at the water if they can. Now, not all of the plants in the desert are cacti, but most of them have thorns, like this one. Is this about the normal size for cactuses? Cacti. Oh. And this is about the normal size for a house plant. See, here's this one. I potted this for Mr. Badinsky. I figured he'd like a house plant that he probably couldn't kill. <laughs> But most of the big ones you see in the desert are over a hundred years old. Wow. Yeah. But you know what my favorite thing is to do in sand? What? <laughs> sand castles! Oh, that does sound like fun. <laughs> Ooh, more sand? Yes, please. Just the right consistency. Now we need buckets and things. That would be fun. There we go. Oh. I'm here! I'm here! Uh, am I too late? Too late for what? Mr. Budinsky, what do you have there? Well, I heard that we were going to talk about desserts today, so I brought some. Deserts! We're supposed to talk about deserts, not this. Well, those look good. Oh, have one. Oh, certainly. Here, wipe your hands off. 
Ooh, these look delicious. Mm. Also, gelatin and cupcakes. Mm. I'll take one of these. Me too. Mm. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, oh, Mr. Budinski. Mm. So, is this like a typical day on the farm? Yeah, pretty much. At least around here. In our next episode, Ali, Rupert, and Jehu arrive in Egypt to rescue Jonathan and Rhea by any means they can. I am Ramses XI. My father is Pharaoh. We came here to rescue my niece and nephew. They were brought here to be slaves for your father. My father will never let them go. That's next time on The Adventures of Donkey Ollie. I hope you liked the show. Goodbye! <laughs>